Yeah. There he is. That's him. That's him. Good. Yep. I learned that Hackberry flip from Louisiana. On today's G3 Sportsman, we got the blue. The summertime blue. And we couldn't be happier. Come on, go with us. The G3 Sportsman is presented by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. We have made it out here under the cloak of darkness. The sun just starting to come up. I don't even know where we are, but I do know we're on the, we are still on the Mississippi River. Right? Yes. We're here with Ryan Casey. Show me catfish, our catfish boy. Been a couple of years yeah, yeah. since we've been out fishing. And so uh, we've, uh, we've come down here. On, we're on a summer pattern. And you can see we're kind of got these rods up over Eric's head right now. We're, we're back bouncing and uh, trying to catch some, some uh, nice blue cats. We've got a side rod going over here. Probably have another one out here in a little bit. And uh, this, is the, this is the technique in the summertime, isn't it? It is. Walking these baits back and, uh, you know, the controlled drifting is the way to go. There's a fish. There's a fish. All right. I don't think he's much, though. Unless they he doesn't might, know he's hooked. Yeah, they might run right at you sometime. <laughs> well, you just feel a... It's kind of like getting hung up. Yeah. You know, but it's coming to you. I know what that feels like, the getting hung up part. Oh, yeah, that's a little bitty guy. You need help with that fish, or you got that one? Well, I guess I can eventually get him at some point. You saved your bait. Get in there, Bubba. Well, look how light he is, boy. You, mm -hmm. In that old muddy water, it's always the dismount that gets me. I'm not used to the to the dismount on getting these. I got to pay more attention. But if you you'd catch a fish, then I could see how you get the hooks out and stuff. Well, I'm trying to learn how to catch them from you. There we go, blue cat. Even though he's even though he's white, he's been in down there in that old mud down there. All right, that's a start. Yeah. Let's just hope we gradually go up from there. All right, kitty cat. Thank you for the fun. You must have been hungry you ate that old head of I mean, that pretty big bait for a fish like that. The old mully's going to get a workout today. There's one. You got a fish there? Yep. Get him. Eh, not much. <laughs> now, what do I do with this thing? That's the question. <laughs> well, you take that one out of the holder and put that one in the holder. Is that how you do that? That's what you told me. We'll try it, we'll try it your way. I tried to hand it to you one time, you wouldn't even take it. All right. That looks like a catfish, only smaller. Yeah. Yeah, that's not even sandwich size there. He's not happy about it. Well, I can catch a fish, look at that. Yeah, there you go. Cute as a button. I'm gonna let him go. Back to back action. Yeah. That's, you know, you had a hit before I, put that one back so that is considered a double. The G3 Sportsman is brought to you by G3 Boats. Quality, performance, and satisfaction. Berkeley, catch more fish. And by Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. I think I can graduate to a, to a five, five ounce weight. You, people would think that's kind of heavy, but really, For me, that's, uh, Ryan says that's training wheels. He's using probably a three. See our rig right here. And the skipjack, we are using cut skipjack. On a, is that a 10 alt? Eight alt. Eight alt, double action? Yep. Team catfish hook, five ounces of weight. And the idea, the idea is 
drop it off in there. I've got a line counter on these 6500s and you feel the bottom. And once you feel bottom, I like using an open bale. And the rods that, actually, that, I don't think they were made for catfishing, but I sent a couple to Ryan for him to start testing. And these are the Abu Garcia Volatile. These are eight foot, medium heavy. And they've been working for you. They're, they're real lightweight, got a good yeah. sensitive tip, and you need that in order to feel the bottom. We've caught some really big fish on them too. And so I hope we catch some big fish on them too. But the Volatile, next generation V-Series by Abu Garcia. I hope they get a workout. There he is. Fish on? Yeah. No, he's not much, but he's on. <laughs> Are you, you clear of me? Uh, I can't tell. He's a little heavier than the ones we've been catching. And when, when targeting blue cats specifically, what we look for in a river is, is your current. You've got current, depth, and, um, and bottom structure and where the bait is. Uh, you know, today we've got a three foot rise coming, so it's, it's you know, a bit of a challenge. The current's ripping where the fish were yesterday and the day before. So it's gonna push them either tighter to structure or it might even push them over into the other side of the river. But usually they're gonna be up towards the newer water. Great your ways. I imagine this is gonna be a... You got me or? Maybe I've got this fish. You don't have this. <laughs> Maybe my, it's me. That's my fish. Maybe it's me. I can see your line wrapped around my. I think I'm the one that hooked this fish uh, all this time. The way the morning's going, I wouldn't doubt it except for I felt him bite. Well, you felt him bite. Yeah, I think he's on my hook. Oh, I can already already see there's going to be some photoshopping or something to make it look this... like you caught this fish. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> See, because I was using a head with a red hook. Is that what you were using? Yeah, and That's you're using a, a, a head with a red hook, I believe. I don't think so. You're probably hung up on the bottom somewhere. Okay, what are we going to do here? I don't know. Power pole down. Okay, hold that, hold that <laughs> rod. All right. Hey, there's some grippers right there. Here. Hey, Scott, there's grippers right oh, there. Oh, okay. I'll just hold them with these two poles right here. How in the heck do you get your hand in there? <laughs> don't just don't get hit with that weight. <laughs> have you have you got it? This is just how I pictured opening this show. Listen, I can't get my hand in it. Well, don't you know? Don't hurry. <laughs> get hung up and me. <laughs> okay. Oh, that one hung. Now, can you bring the fish up back up? Yeah. Yeah, I'm number, no problem. I got this. I don't even know which fish, which one the, where's the <laughs> one fish? of the two. Where's the fish at? <laughs> oh. Is this how you normally do oh, stuff? Bro. That one's hung. That one's hung. Just take your time, Scott. It'll be fine. <laughs> this one's oh, hung. Oh, they're up. both hung. Sure enough. Okay. Yeah, we, that one just came up. Are you, we can just make this show into a blooper show. <laughs> this is a blooper show. <laughs> Here, you want, <laughs> you got him? All right. Here we go. Nice fish right here. Yeah. Thank you for reeling my fish. <laughs> yeah, it's any, anything I can do for you, Scott. Who's he better? Man, 25? Yeah, he's a good fish. Yeah. Good way to start the day. It is. Okay. Well, we're gonna let him go. Yeah. Take a little break, get things organized. When we come back, we're going to figure out who actually hooked this fish. You know, this is just some of the fun that we always have with Ryan. I mean, it, it, it's not just this trip. We, we've probably fished with him four or five times, and each and every trip, it has just been a blast. He's ready when you are, Scott. Hooked right in that top jaw. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what did I say a while ago about you're gonna get a little nasty, you're gonna get a little wet, you got your bath. 
That's the best I can do there, bro. <laughs> it wasn't pretty, but we got him, buddy. It wasn't, it wasn't real pretty. It wasn't real pretty, but we did get it. Man, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> in there. Oh. oh man. Well, let's see what we got. Oh, well, look at here. There's a catfish in here. <laughs> you old your fish. <laughs> we got there. one here, right here. Is he old? Yep. Holy cow. <laughs> Look here. <laughs> Look here. Just Got another one on. Yeah, there's a 50 plus right there. <laughs> and a feisty one at that. Oh my gosh. They are strong. I got a fish here, ain't yeah. it? Yes, you do. <laughs> there he is. Oh, that's uh. There we go. I still got line over here. Get this line off of me over here, too. Over there? Well, you know I caught that fish. I don't know that you did. Get in there. Man, what a mess. How many holes have we actually got fishable right now? None of them are fishable. G3 Sportsman is brought to you by Abu Garcia for life. Undercover, we've got you covered. Team Catfish, real catfish gear. And by Bug Suit, repel bugs naturally. So you guys don't really realize by just watching this show, it was about 150 degrees outside. So we kind of cut the the first day short a little bit, slipped out of there about 9, 10 o'clock and, uh, and kind of licked our wounds and came back out the next morning and thinking, well, we can finish this show up in the morning before it gets too hot. Whew. Old legs stretch out there. There he is. Got him? Yep. Let me try to get mine up. He's just down there spinning. There he is. Okay, that's quality fish, though. Of course, I don't know where your grippers are. Uh, they're in my bag there. How about that? Right there, though. Yeah, that's Look a... how fat. <laughs> he hasn't missed many meals, has he? Oh. I mean, these fish are healthy right now. We got barges and... There we go, we got the Mississippi River. We got, we got barges going. Everybody's waving, catfish going. We got the first one in the boat, so this may be an exciting day here so far. We first drift. It's a start, and we ain't even fifty yards. Yeah, fifty <laughs> yards. We got our first one, and that's a fat dude. Look how fat he is. <laughs> I'm gonna right, get hey, him back, Scott. Let's go. Let's get back in there. You can sit there and admire him all you want. I'm fishing. Yeah, I hear you. Get my mully. Oh, these are these are fresh caught in Mississippi River skipjack. And uh, we're using the heads today. Those seem to be what they really want. So, so far. Well, right now we're trying to really slow it down with these hand rods, and we're we're cutting it down about a little less than half of the the regular current speed. And um, we've we've got a what we're dealing with is a three foot rise today. So the river's jumping up, and um, these fish are going to probably push in more towards the structure and uh, tighter to the ledges and and up into the new water. Fish? So. Yep. There he is. There's a good one. <laughs> right on, Scott. Uh, you want to cut back on the trolling motor? Yeah. All right. Man. Sounds like a good fish. Sounds like? Yeah. Well, I hear that drag going. He's going to run right at you, isn't he? Yeah. Boy, he didn't. He ain't really fought me yet. Yeah. I think he's going to, though. Hey. Oh. Man, he might not be that big. He's kind of spinning. Boy, he took off like he was. He took <laughs> off. I mean, pulled drag. Ooh. It's quieter down here. We ain't got the tow boat. Yeah. Yeah, they got a little, a little agitated with us this morning. 
Oh yeah, not a bad fish. Uh, yeah, old beat up meal. <laughs> old big headed sucker. Boy he is. It is. Yeah, he's been, he just now coming off of the nest and feeding up. Oh, oh, there you go, roll up in there. All emaciated and everything from protecting those eggs. He's got a big old mouth on him too. Yes, he? he does. Look at that joker. Yeah, he's a dandy. <laughs> Hold him up there and let him see how wide and thick he is there. Yeah. Yeah. He is a big old male. Yeah, big old male. He's got leeches all over him. He's been laying down in the mud, it's all scarred up from fighting and protecting his his young. Yeah. But uh, put up a good fight though. Yeah. See you later, buddy. There you go, just blew bubbles and took off. Good job. What's up? I got one. Fish? Yeah. There he is. That's him. That's him. Good. Yep. That's him. All right. Well, right when the old towboat comes by, that always every, happens. Doesn't it? Every time. Boy, he felt heavy way out there in that heavy current when I came back on him. <laughs> oh my goodness. They could get real mean at the boat here though too, but he's got a smaller head shape. <laughs> Good Lord. I thought that was going. Why did you have to catch fish right here at the park with a It almost always seems how that works out. Yeah, let me see if I can work this thing because I can't get my hand through that hole. Like this? Yes, sir. Oh! Woo! There you go, Bubba. There we go. There you go. Nice fish there, Ryan. Yeah. Yeah, that's a... There ain't nothing wrong with that fish. That fish right there. Healthy I mean, critter. Yeah. Just down there feeding, doing his thing, doing her thing. Yeah. That's what you can expect coming down here to fish with you, isn't it? Yeah, this is um, you know, this is a good fish. Anytime you get one over 20 pounds, that's a good yeah. fish, whether you're fishing saltwater or whatever. But uh, you know, we catch a lot of this size fish right here. Yeah. yeah. I don't get to catch a lot of them, so he about whooped me. He did, didn't he? <laughs> Very well, nice fish. We get him back in here. I'll okay. let him go over here on this side. All right. And uh There he goes. That's it, that's the, that's skipjack filet right there. That's filet mignon for, for uh, catfish. And these are fresh caught. Ryan had a buddy of his down here throwing nets and, and catching some, some fresh skipjack. And that's, really that's key, isn't it? Bro? It is, and thank you John B. Hyder Sr. for doing that for us. There we you really go, appreciate John. it. You got you a plug there. Heck yeah, you gotta thank the people who help you out. And, he helped us out big time. Yeah. G3 Sportsman has been brought to you by Ugly Stick, America's strongest, most sensitive rod. Buck, a blade for every hunt. The Molly Towel, clip, catch, clean, and release. And by Yamaha, reliability starts here. I know you guys are wondering, what is that boat they're fishing out of? Well, that's our new G3 Sportsman 200. You're seeing it for the first time. And we're really going to target this towards the catfishman. And it's 20 foot, 95 inch beam, 72 inch bottom. We've got a 65 gallon uh, live well on here. Four seats, big wrap around windshield, 125 wall with a 15 degree dead rise. And let me tell you, as big and as this boat is, this thing will fly. We've got it here with the F200. Yamaha on here and downstream we were running 61 mile an hour upstream with three of us and full of gear we was running 54. This thing will go and it's safe, it's heavy and it'll be one of the best boats that you will find on big water, on rough water, it'll get you back, it's a safe boat and I'm going to tell you, you catfishmen are really going to be tickled about it and you're going to see a few, uh, few more episodes with us featuring the new Sportsman 200 real soon. Normally having the blues 
would be a very depressing thing to have. But with Ryan Casey on the Mississippi River would show me catfishing, the blues are a good thing to have. Hey, just remember, keep what you can eat, release the rest, and we'll see you next week right here on the G3 Sportsman. Thanks for watching. But you're gonna make me cut my own bait. I, I can just, uh -huh. I can see it in your eye. Oh yeah, I can see it. Yeah, this is this our what four show together? <laughs> the time for a hand holding has expired. <laughs> I, got, I got one going right now. A corridor. I got a fish. Right you got here. a fish in the yeah. corridor. Right there. Is that a fish? That's a fish. That's the first fish I have lost sitting down. I'm gonna start calling these Scottisms. They're usually I've never. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna keep a journal. I've still not lost a hook. <laughs>